Hey man, I'm back for part two, man. This is part two of five signs to know that girl is not the one for you. Man, sign number one, she trash talks with her exes. Now, I've been guilty of this myself, man. There's nothing wrong with a good trash talk. Your ex cheated on you, your ex gave you an STD, your ex burned you real bad. Man, of course you're gonna trash talk them. But why would you wanna be with somebody that trash talk their ex, man? See, if the relationship is truly over, that means it's over. That means you heal from it, you moved on. So if you moved on, why are you still talking about this person? Trash talking them like it just happened yesterday, man. We don't need to be dealing with nobody that's trash talks and their exes because that means that they have not fully moved on from it plus when i eventually do you dirty you gonna trash talk about me and i don't need those kind of rumors floating around about me man i got places to be and places to go so number two is she disrespects your space man one time i dated this girl man she came over and when she came over she undressing or whatever she throwing her pantyhose her bra to all corners of the room man she's not flushing the toilet behind herself yeah. she's not wiping stuff down she's not cleaning up the space she's not leaving things as she found it that's so disrespectful all the grinding and hard work i do to be able to afford this jaggedy ass roof over my head right now jaggedy ass ceiling fan and you mean to tell me you can't show respect to it Man, this either means that she has no regard for your space or she has issues up there with cleanliness. And you do not need a girl like that, man. Your apartment, your house, your room, whatever you have, your cardboard box is sacred. And you deserve to be with somebody who treats it as such. Number three, she's actively competing with you. Now, see, in a healthy relationship, I feel like everybody wins, right? Like, if I win, you win. If you win, I win. If, if I get a promotion, that's more money coming to both of us. If you get a promotion, that's more money coming for both of us, too. So why is she trying to compete with you, man? Now, there's nothing wrong with trying to make more than your partner or aspiring to be more than them if y'all working in the same field. Like, competition is healthy to a certain extent. Like, if y'all are fitness junkies, it's okay to be like, babe, I'm going to squat more than you today or babe, I'm going to sprint faster than you. But if she's like, babe, I'm going to crush you, I'm going to destroy you. Like, if you beat her in a game and she, like, chucks your game controller against the wall, bro, you don't need to be with her, man. She wants to murder you. She wants to kill you. Like, we're not praying mantises. Like, after we fuck you, you don't have to eat me. Like, the fuck? Number four reason this is a big one why she's not the right one for you she doesn't like anime i don't know it's something about people who just don't fuck with anime i don't trust them like anime has everything that you need anime has everything that you could want Man, if you like fights we got your dragon ball z and your baki if you like fantastic adventures we got your going and killer war with the hunter x hunter and the one piece Man, if you like romances, cut out all the bullshit and cut on some fruit baskets or some amate lollipops, some save me lollipop. That's an old one y'all don't know about. And if you like some dark, scary shit, try some Death Note. Now, if she thinks anime is childish, that probably means she's childish. And the only soul you need to be sticking anywhere near her <laughs> is one that can kill a demon. And number five, the last thing, if she knows what she wants to eat when you ask her what she wants to eat. See, everybody knows the tried and true ritual of dating. You ask her, babe, what do you want to eat? Or, babe, are you hungry? She says, no, I'm not hungry. I don't know what I want to eat. And then when the food comes, she got her hands on your fries. You, you want to go to Popeye's, she complaining that Popeye's is nasty. Well, bitch, I thought you said that you didn't know what you wanted to eat. See, if you ask her what she wants to eat, and she answers quick, Burger King, Popeye's, Arby's, Ruby Tuesdays, you need to start paying more attention to her because you might be messing with a nigga in disguise.